Now I want to look at a fairly straightforward one, which is returning the minimum of a max of a group of values. Um, this is something I use very, very commonly. Say we have a whole lot of different set of empirical formulas returning different results, and we want to take the minimum of those group of results and apply that to our design. So let's see, it's um, fairly straightforward as far as I can remember. To, to find the minimum, the minimum of two values, we we get the average of the two values. So let's say a plus b divided by 2. And then we add or subtract, subtract for the minimum, the difference, half the difference between the two values. So a minus b divided by 2. That's equal to the min. And the max is we add the difference between the two of them. But of course it's not as simple as that because we don't know which one is the greater and which one is the, is the, the lesser. So we have to do a little bit more work with that. We have to use the absolute value. And that ensures that no matter which one is greater and which one is smaller, we get the correct result. Let's look at how we do that in microstation. We say a is equal to 30 b is equal to 35. Let's write a formula. So we say, there's a shorter way of saying this. Min of a, b, a and b is equal to a plus b, so that's a plus b minus the absolute of a minus b and then we can do a little bit of shorthand and divide everything by 2 and let's just copy that down and put us in a test if I type it correctly. And I can't find a. That would explain it. I can't find a because they're on multi line text, so I dropped that. Okay. Now reassign the equation. And it's given me 30 as a minimum value. If I edit b2 equals 30 I'm still getting 30 if I equal b to equals 28 I'm still getting 28 let's test that with negative values just to be on the safe side let's change a to minus 40 so that proves that's working that's a convenient one use that one quite a lot and as I say if you want to get the maximum change that to a plus and reevaluate and it'll give it the maximum. And if you want to compare multiple values, say A, B, C and D. We'll have we just have to go the long way about it and compare A and B first to get say X and then compare X with C to get Y and then compare Y with 
pay to get result. Maybe we'll have more efficient tools in the future, but until then, we can do it all within MicroStation, just with a little bit of a little bit of work. At least it only has to be done once; it doesn't have to be repeated. You know, we can reuse this data over and over again. So that's it for men and Macs.